Hey y'all, it's Base Ed Dipper here, dipping on some Skull Long Cut Classic Wintergreen. Come play some Forza Horizon and just talk about different things that people do to this game that really bugs me because it's annoying and I don't see a point in it. I tell you guys, this um, Skull Long Cut Classic Wintergreen isn't that bad. Um, everybody hates on Skull. Uh, not me. I'll pretty much dip anything that has nicotine in it. Well, chewing tobacco wise, or dipping tobacco. Okay, so where are we? We're at Dax Garage, which makes it perfect. Or we were at Dax Garage. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to go to car. This is the Lancer Evolution X GSR, which is uh, Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution X GSR. And this has 778 horsepower because I did fully upgrade it. And it is illegal to race with right now because it's an R3 class. And I also have the Mustang Boss 429 1970 with 741 horsepower, which is also the. Let's see, what is this? It's also in the R3 class. And this is just a 1969 Charger with a 409 horsepower. And I did do a complete engine swap in this one, but it's now fully upgraded. So I guess first I'll drive this. I'm not going to worry about these cars yet until I completely upgrade them because I will have more uh, Forza Horizon uh, game uploads or uh, gameplay. There we go. So yeah, I'm just going to worry about the two fastest cars I have, which is this one. This one and I'll probably test this one out, see what upgrades it has on it. But these two I'm really going to mainly worry about. So... Being I'm already in the uh, Lancer Evo, I'm just going to go ahead and just drive this around the uh, festival. Just show you the different things that they have. And I'm one of those guys, like, everybody says real world drive this, real world drive that. Yes, that is true for certain events, like, for an instance, I will show you, and I cannot drive for shit. But <clears throat> when going around corners, you want the best possible traction, and all-wheel drive will actually get you the best possible traction. But as you can see, I just started playing this game, so I don't have uh, really good driving skills. And uh, one thing about this game that y'all should know if y'all are looking into buying it it is 10 times more realistic than need for speed as you just see watch y'all uh i'll find the um straight away real quick that has a little bit of turn that comes up to a turn I'm sitting here trying to look through my uh, can't, my phone screen, see where I'm going. But um, I'm not the best driver. And at 778 horsepower, this thing gets pretty crazy for my taste. <laughs> Even though I like horsepower, but it is not all about horsepower. Everybody says horsepower this, horsepower that. Everybody. And a lot of your younger kids, they'll be like, horsepower, horsepower, horsepower. No, it's not always about horsepower. Um, there's several factors you have to look into. Do you want <clears throat> acceleration or do you want top speed? If you want top speed, your gear ratio and your transmission plays a part in it. Like, for this car, I have it set up for racing gears, which cuts my time in half. In between shifts I think it's like one second per shift time I don't know I'd have to see and I screwed this car up a lot But like I said, it's not always about horsepower, this, horsepower, that. And this is really where I'm getting at with this video. Um, even though this is a video game, same concept applies in Forza. 
what do you want? Do you want top speed or do you want acceleration? Because if you want top speed, you want to go with a higher gear ratio. Lower gear ratios normally, well typically, with lower gear ratios, you have more takeoff or you have a higher takeoff or faster takeoff. There we go. I'll get it one day, guys. Don't worry, I'll get it one day. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. Alright. So, <clears throat> ever since I got into the Forza scene with Forza Horizon, because my buddy has it, <clears throat> I noticed on YouTube, I'd search up Forza videos, and I noticed a lot of guys would actually mod Forza. Forza 3, Forza 2, Forza, or Forza Motorsport, Forza Horizon, Horizon 2, and it's like, why would you do that? And then I was uh, doing some research to see if they ever got that fixed to where people couldn't mod it, and actually they have. Like, <clears throat> a couple days ago, when I got the game, actually the same day I got the game, they, uh, my file had corrupted, and I'm trying to figure out why it corrupted, but I would try and play it, and it says your account has been tampered with, so I'm like, what? Nobody else has my account. But it turns out the file had corrupted and the uh, game thought I was trying to mod it, which I wasn't. And then I did research on that and it turns out Turn 10 actually put that on there to prevent modding. Oh wow, I actually went through that at 143 miles an hour. I'm not even paying attention, I'm just sitting here talking, so yeah. But um, it turns out Turn 10 actually added that in there to where people could not mod the game. Where am I going? I am like completely off from the uh, festival. Turn around when it is safe. This is Forza. Well, this is a video game. You don't have to turn around when it's safe. But what I thought would be awesome that Forza would do is if they added in cops that actually chased you as you were street racing. Like they did in uh, Need for Speed. That's the only realistic part about uh, Need for Speed. Need for Speed Most Wanted, Need for Speed Most Wanted 2, and Undercover. <clears throat> they actually had cops that would chase you whenever you're racing. So yeah. And, and yes, I am playing with uh, a manual transmission. So yeah, but Turn 10 actually added the um, anti-modding block into all all the Forza games, and everybody like all the modders are pissed off about it because they can't mod the game now, which makes me happy because I don't want to be going against a guy who has a 63,000 horsepower fucking Evo or a 63,000 S2000 S2000. So yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out my Mustang Boss 429. Now I know this is crazy to say, but this car right here, being it is a real wheel drive, it is a lot harder to handle than that little Evo. But <clears throat> muscle cars have always been for straightaway or really American cars, cars amongst like this car, uh, the Dodge Charger, Dodge Challenger, they've always been good for straightaways, but never really did too good on turns. And that's when they introduced the, uh, like the Corvette, the, uh, shit, what, what was that other car that Ford came out with? They had the Corvette. Dodge had the uh, Viper, which was all sports cars, and then I think Ford came out with the uh, Ford GT or something like that. So, yeah. And then now we have the, uh, the Hennessy uh, Venom GT Spider. 
which is pretty much the fastest car right now in the world, or at least compared to Bugatti, beat Bugatti's record. Oh yeah, I got another achievement, sweet. What the fuck was that? Okay, that was weird. That was really weird. I am now in the top 200. For whatever that means. That was really weird, guys. And I love the way this car sounds, so I'll show you here. What the fuck is she looking at? Is she looking at my car? Oh my god. You gotta look this way. Oh my god, that's a lot of people. So yeah guys, that's what that vehicle sounds like and it sounds pretty epic. Alright, I'm gonna go to Dax Garage real quick. Hopefully I have enough. Alright, we're gonna go to change car. Uh, these are my two pink slip cars that I won off of two people in the uh, story mode. One's a uh, 2012 Challenger SRT8, and the other one's a Ford Raptor. I wonder if I can do an engine conversion on this one. Probably not, but I'm gonna see. I am really curious. Oh shit. Alright, now I'm in the top 199. I think that's my popularity. I think once I get to uh, like one or so, I'll be really popular. I don't know. I don't know too much about this game, guys. So y'all are about to find out with me if I can do an engine conversion in this or an engine swap. Well, let's fix it up. All right. <sighs> because these uh pink slip cars, you actually have a lot of uh upgrades already put on them okay yeah I can do I can actually okay I can't do an engine swap but I can put this uh great supercharger on here and it give me 613 horses maybe this guy didn't put a lot on here nah he did Mm. 
Should I do it? 15,000? Yes, I am doing it. I got 2,000 left. I ain't got money for that yet. Alright, but we will put some. We'll go ahead. And okay, that will give us uh, 724 horsepower. But I ain't got the money for it yet. Actually, I'm going to sell one of my cars just so I can get money off of it. Which one am I going to sell? Should I? I just bought it, but. Fuck it, why not? Alright, so we're gonna go back to custom upgrade. Because I really, yeah, I really wanna set this up to real good rate. Okay. I'll pull my launch up. To go American Racing. Yeah. Now we're going to leave the room stock. Crap. back all the way out because I know there's still more I gotta do. Alright, so we're at, let's see, what horsepower are we at? So, alright, that's there. doesn't really do much for it. Alright, so. Brakes. That's up. Damn. This weight reduction, or race weight reduction, actually, see this, just gives you, if I put this on, it'll take away 454 pounds, which would actually put me at 600, or 767 horsepower. Uh, I'm going to have to save up for that. Actually... I'm going to sell another car because I have a ca cars in here that I don't want. But I do have cars in here I do want, so I'm going to have to pick wisely. Yeah, I hate the Ma uh, Mazda Miata. How much can I sell this for? Okay, 3500 Yeah. Alright. Alright. Custom upgrades. Even though that was a... Uh, see where this car is at now. I'm sorry this video took so long guys. <clears throat> I just want y'all to see how to upgrade one.